uh, hey everyone this is umaran welcome all of you to the channel so here i am with a very new content so in this video i will discuss the cyc scientist interview experience of one of my friend uh, here in iit bombay he has appeared in his interview uh, just uh, eight days before in the second november there was the interview in iit in iusc delhi so he has been shortlisted after written examination but the thing is like that it is very uh, new and very fast time the video is going to be uploaded about the iusc scientist interview experience in physics discipline okay so the friend uh, that is working who is working here with uh, me uh, was appeared for the interview his interview was going for just 15 to 20 minutes i am mentioning here a very few students were shortlisted for the interview and mostly uh, they are taking interview for nearly 30 to 40 minutes but my friend was uh, appeared in his interview for only 15 to 20 minutes so let's have a discussion on the uh, questions what they have uh, asked to him and how he was uh, able to answer them so first of the uh, first question was uh, from ledger uh, what is ledger and how it work so this is very fundamental question everyone know what is a ledger is then how it is work you should know uh, why there is stimulate uh, emission spontaneous emission so depending upon that the population of the state how emission is there and you are getting different kind of ledger are there so basically the fundamental of uh, ledger they are asking so this question was uh, going well for him because uh, he was he is working here in photonics group photonics group so this is very easy for him to answer about the ledgers about the any optical uh, phenomena uh, or you can say the related to optics he can handle but the next question was from the solid state physics the people asked about Uh, how lattice conduct thermal uh, energy or thermal specific heat was specifically asked to him so you know for the thermal specific heat he has explained about the rule uh, about the einstein model and debye model that is the quantum theory of the uh, lattice specific heat of the solid uh, from that they go towards the quantum harmonic oscillator also because uh, whenever you are explaining about the thermal specific heat of a solid you have to go for the uh, quantum mechanical harmonic oscillator which is atom is oscillating on the lattice point so they go for the uh, quantum mechanical phenomena related to partition function also asked so i think they asked about the einstein solid and uh, find the average energy of the solid so you just take the uh, atom as a quantum harmonic oscillator then you can have the partition function then uh, from the partition function uh, like uh, sorry uh, like whenever you will get z equal to e to the power minus beta h square omega by 2 by 1 minus e to the power minus beta h square omega so you can calculate your average energy as uh, minor del by del beta of ln z okay so this question was started from here and the people goes to the statistical mechanics a little bit so after discussing this question okay there but uh, in this question they were uh, um, try to on uh, draw the attention uh, try to draw the points that the student is aware of the concept or not that is the debye theory and einstein theory what is the basic difference between them so after that they just go for the statistical mechanics related to this concept after that the people fir uh, came into the ledger because the area of the student was uh, photonic so people were coming to the ledger and uh, asked about the free electron ledger what is free electron ledger is there and uh, bunsing is there so you if you are interested then you should go about the bunsing okay uh, what is bunsing and how it is working the uh, free electron ledger so basically free electron ledger because this free electron ledger is working in iusc delhi because the people have this free electron ledger so they are specifically asked about it and one of the important thing is like that uh, whenever you are going for the iusc interview you please go what are the instrument are there like what are the nuclear reactor are there and the speciality about the nuclear you should know and what are the instrument they are using in the material uh, fabrication that because they are people are working both in material science and as well as the uh, 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 nuclear physics so you uh, should uh, focus on the instrument that they are handling and uh, what are the special about the instrument you should know so behind uh, that concept like bunching they after that they go to the phonon what is phonon and they explain that is vibration in diatomically so basically you know what is phonon when is, there is a solid so when there is a solid there is a lattice vibration so there is a spring like um, arrangement is there so the elastic wave produced is known as the phonon or you can say the quanta of the elastic wave produced by the lattice vibration is known for the basically for the diatomic molecules you know the uh, dispersion is like uh, this this is between first relojunction this is zero and this is 
plus pi by a this is minus pi by so this pi by 2a and this pi by 2a so this is optical branch and this is acoustical branch so this is very easy to explain someone for uh, lattice vibration for diatom molecule but the interesting question they have put to here like they gave a dispersion relation like this so dispersion was like minus pi by 2a this is very important 2 pi by 2a and dispersion was like this so dispersion was like this okay and the optical branch was splitted like uh, this, oh, this was like that okay so here they asked about the number of atom number of atom for uh, number of atom in primitive unit cell in primitive unit cell so what is the number of atom in the primitive unit cell so if you see this optical branch is 2 and the acoustical branch is 2 and this is a uh, to diatomic molecule in three dimensional so this is in a three dimensional so total optical uh, mode becomes 3p minus 3 so your 3p minus 3 is equal to 2 so your 3p is 5 is p equal to 5 by 3 so the random number is coming but the approach should be like this because the optical branch is 2 and the acoustical branch is 2 so you should use the formula is like optical branch equal 3p minus 3 so 3p minus 3 will be 2 and the q will be like this okay so here i want to mention a question like uh, you should know if someone will ask you about uh, what is the probability or the uh, how, please explain which of the state out of uh, acoustical acoustical and optical okay which state has the occupancy greater than 40 percent at 300 kelvin if lattice parameter a equal to 0 0.2 nanometer okay so the question is like that this question was given uh, in bs interview for someone in this year so if optical branch is there and the acoustical branch is there optical branch is there and acoustical branch is there so which of the branch will have the uh, have the occupancy probability greater than 40 percent at 300 kelvin if the lattice constant is given 0 0.2 nanometer please try this question this is very important okay so thank you so much this is a few general discussion about the ioc scientist interview of my friend who is he appeared in for his interview last eight days before in ioc delhi so overall interview experience is not good because the people take your interview for love only 15 to 18 minute 20 minute you can say so they are very hurry of taking interview so this is not fair i think because you someone is taking interview of a physics student he should be or he should be come and quite and should patiently uh, listen to the answer of a student if you are asking someone something okay so that's a different part of the story after all he was appearing his interview so thank you so much for the uh, uh, listening my uh, uh, video and uh, watching my video thank you so much for your support